I'm going to show you how to use the focus test in Lightburn today. And you need to have a Z axis on your machine to use this, and you need to enable it up in the device settings where it says enable Z axis. Hit OK. Then go up here to laser tools and pick the focus test, and you'll get this dialog box. It'll ask you where to start the Z, where to end the Z, and the number of steps. I'm going to start at zero because it doesn't let you put negative numbers in here. So I'll focus my laser about three millimeters below where I usually do, and then I'll raise up seven steps. So that means I'll end up about three millimeters above where I usually focus it. I'll set the power at 90% to start, and then I'll rerun this at 70% and 50%. If you hit preview, you can hit play here, and it'll show you that it's going to burn seven lines and raise the z-axis up one millimeter each time. If you hit frame here, it will show you where it's going to burn this test on your material. If you want to save the, the G code to a USB stick. If your machine's not hooked up directly to, to your computer, you can do that. Or you can just hit start here and start it on your machine. I usually use this eight millimeter block to set the focus. I'm going to use a five millimeter fixture that I have here and lower this focus by three millimeters. Then I'll run the focus test at 90% power. I'm going to run it two more times at 70% and at 50%. And this is what they look like at 90%, 70%, and 50%. Well, in conclusion, it looks like the three and four millimeter lines look about as good as any of them. So I'll probably still use that eight millimeter block to focus the laser and just leave it up a little bit above that block. If you found this video to be helpful to you, then please like it and subscribe to my channel. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.